Hey there, Capricorn. Hope you guys' week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the messages are coming out for you guys and what you need to know right now for you guys' highest good. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn. Can I have Capricorn, please? Freedom. Mask. One more. Shattered. Shadow work at the bottom here. Okay, so somebody here doesn't like that you were able to break free from them. Somebody doesn't like that you were able, it's almost like this person broke you down to nothing, but you built yourself back up into a stronger version of your of yourself here. So this person is this person knows you've been doing a lot of shadow work. It's like this person wants to like wear a mask and try to get you to think that they're doing the same thing that you're doing. What's the overall energy for Capricorn? Growth. Expanding your consciousness and your awareness. That's part of that shadow work that you guys are doing here. You stepped into your growth and you're happy. You're happy. You're on the right path. You are creating more happiness. You are drawing in more um, emotional fulfillment and a lot more happiness because you're in this free spirit energy and you're just, you're at flow with the universe right now. Your happiness looks good on you. Your growth looks good on you guys. Look at that. Changes. Understanding that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So you're all about whatever you got to do to step more into your growth and just really being happy. Showing gratitude, being appreciative of your life. And then if things want to come in and start making changes or something, you know, redirects in a different way for you. Just trusting the process, not panicking and just kind of going with the flow with the changes. Capricorn. Capricorn. Positive, optimistic, beautiful. Continue being in that. And you clearly are. Your energy feels really good right now, guys. So staying in that positive energy, being optimistic, very beautiful energy that you radiate here. Beautiful. Somebody doesn't like this, this optimistic energy version of you to explore the unknown ahead so this is about you trusting remember earlier when I said sometimes um you might be redirected in a different path that you didn't think that you were going to go towards trust that and just um know that you're always moving in the right direction for yourself but there's some new doorways to be opened up and that could be in all areas of your life guys something here about needing to make more like something about Changing something up in order to go down these paths as well. Something about more changes headed your way. Capricorn. Capricorn. Clearing negativity. As I focus on the positive, the negative energy gradually just dissipates. So getting rid of that negativity. Getting rid of uh, old thinking patterns. Uh, limited beliefs. Doubt. Things like that. This is about you getting back to knowing who you are before the world got its hands on you and started telling you that you got to do this and you got to do that. Just clearing all that negativity away. Somebody doesn't like that they are part of this negativity that you're just clearing away. They don't like it that you can just like leave them alone and never look at them again. Like this person's ego is taking a big old hit right now. New beginnings. I am ready to let go of the past. Today is a new day and I am moving forward with my life. So those are the new beginnings coming in because you've been working on your heart chakra. You're happy. You're you're just in this very light-hearted energy right now, just ready for these new beginnings. And the more that you step in and do your healing work, the more that these new beginnings are going to line up for you. And that has to do with love and um, your finance, your career path, just your 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 prosperity that's what you've got coming in here for you i like it capricorn thank you your mind is an altar source to energy here so this is about you only focusing on what you know what needs to be focused on Staying in that positive, that optimistic energy, just being happy and creating more um, room for more happiness to come in here. 
something here about your mind being that much more sharp, clear. Your 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 mental space has grown as well, guys. That third eye is open, and you are seeing things in a whole different light now. Beautiful. You are not alone. Just because you're by yourself, you're not alone, guys. Trust the process. Isolation periods are a necessity. It's not for any type. It's not for punishment. It's for your evolving so you can grow, so you can really get tapped into that source energy. If you got a lot of outside influences, they, it takes away from um, what you're meant to be doing. That's why we go through isolation periods. And you are not alone just because you're by yourself. You got your whole spiritual crew right by you. They're there. They're right next to you the whole the whole time. They've been there the whole your whole life actually, but sometimes we don't op we don't awaken up right away. Like when I had my awakening in 2020, I know I had my protection around me my whole time. Like clearly do I know because of all the situations I've been through. They were there the whole time, but it's like I had my awakening in 2020 and just everything started like going into place for me. So just trust the process when you start going through that, guys. It can it can be a little uh, a little mind-boggling, the things that you see, and the, just, just go with it, guys. That's all I can tell you, because my own journey, I'm just like, what the hell? What's that? And what's this? But I just go with it, man. That's all you can do. Trust the process, guys. Time out freedom. So breaking free from anything that tries to stop you from going into your growth and your happiness. Breaking free from anything that tries to put doomy gloom on this optimism that you have here so this is breaking free from just your old thinking mindset it's breaking free from people that want to project their issues onto you just breaking free from any of that good tell me more tell me about freedom that's that freedom energy right here that's being single independent really focused on a solid foundation for yourself, really nurturing yourself, just really focused on career, your growth, just really looking good. So you are um, breaking free from anything that tried to keep you bound and stuck from being this best version of yourself here. And you look good too. You're feeling good. You're looking good. Everything around you is just, everything you touch turns into, um, it's like you have this Midas touch and that she's got all that yellow on. So that tells me like no matter what you've been through, you've always kept your positive side, guys. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Tell me more about freedom. Breaking free from this controlling a-hole. <laughs> this is breaking free from like authoritative figures. Like this is about breaking free from anything that tries to keep you stuck. And this is a very controlling energy that you dealt with that tried to keep you um, from moving away from them. Like some of you guys could have had some kind of like dominating family dynamic here. And that was part of you breaking free out of a belief system from a, a you know, family, like just being like, um, conditioned from, from family since a kid and things just really like breaking free. You guys, this generational curse breakers, you guys are the ones that are here to make some changes in your uh, bloodline here. Whoo, you got somebody here that is seeing red right now. This person's so angry that you broke free. Like, this person wanted to have a authority over you. And you are definitely in this energy where you're not to be played with. Like, you're cutting ties with anything that tries to keep you stuck and limit you. Good for you. Breaking free from breadcrumbing energies. People that don't want to ex um, extend that same energy that you're giving back. Like, they're not giving them... Like, you went... Like, you were depleted by this person, for some of you, more than one scenario in your life, but no longer, like, accepting these breadcrumbs anymore. This is about looking out and seeing what else is in your life, because this is, like, the way that your life was going, it's like there was, there was no change, there was no evolving, and this is why you've broke free, and this is why you have all these new things headed your way now. And this is about being patient and trusting Trusting that universal law that those things are coming in because they are continuing to do all that hard work. Continuing to break free from anything that tries to stop you from doing this hard work. Seeing things for what it is. Shining lights on things. And again, isolating from people or this person in particular. Just gaining that wisdom and just breaking free. 
some of you guys are figuring out about your healing abilities. You could be figuring out that your earth angels, light workers, star seeds, just here to do some things. So you're realizing who you are after you've broken free from things that tried to keep you stuck from evolving into this beautiful energy that you are going towards now. So continuing to balance, continuing nurturing yourself, and just continuing to trust the process and continue breaking free from anything that tries to stop you from your growth, guys. Tell about this mask wear. What's this about? So you got a mask wear trying to send some kind of flirty, passionate message here. This is a very immature person trying to reach back out to you. This is somebody you already see them for who they are. This person's going to try to convince you that they have changed, but boy, this person's immature. Tell me more about the mask wear. Oh, see, this person's going to tell you that they've changed. They've had a rebirth. They've done all the things that you have. Mm -mm. This person knows that you've laid this to rest and that you're done. That's why they're coming in here with this mask on, trying to tell you that they have stepped into growth and they want, you know, they're making changes in their lives and they've got all this, these, the same thing that you got going on in your life is what this person's going to tell you. And this person's only doing this because they know that you're done. Like you've laid this to rest and you're not even looking at them the same. So this person's got to come up with a whole story to try to convince you. But you're not letting this person or anybody at that matter stab you in the back anymore. You're over it. So this person wants to try to come toward you in a loving manner now. So this person is trying to figure out how to convince you that they are now in this happiness, that they have grown, that they have made changes, that they are just now this optimistic person like you are. See, this person's going to tell you that they've been healing. And this person's doing this because you pull back from them. And, like, they're, the way that you're icing them out has got this person panicking now. See, this person's still operating in this low-vibing energy. They haven't made no changes, guys. This is this devil energy trying to attach itself to you again. Trying to get you back in a connection here. Somebody could only be trying to come back because they see your new beginnings here with something about finances here. This person knows that you are very grounded, very steadfast, and nothing ain't knocking you off your A-game. And, like, you're really focused all about your improvements. And this person's going to try to make it seem like they're on the same wavelength as you. Tell you about Shattered. This person can't believe how you were able to just change everything around for yourself. Tell you about Shattered. <laughs> See, this person's trying to figure out, how'd you do that? High Priestess, so you're very gifted. There's something here about your intuition always being on point. So this person's, um, your your psychic abilities, your, your psychic gifts scare this person. It's like an intimidation. Something here about this person not liking the way that you're able to see through the lies and the deception here. And, and just, you're moving in silence and you're just remaining a mystery at this time. And this person... You know, it's almost like they they were hearing that you were still broken and hurt over this, but they're not hearing that anymore. Like you have really, really moved far ahead in your healing game. And this person shattered because they're no longer hearing about how you're hurt over them or, or like you, or they could have been used to like people, like you asking about this person, like you're not doing none of that anymore. And they're shattered by that. So this person's shattered that you're no longer at this crossroads waiting. Like you decided to, to take a new path for yourself. Like you want to go towards that growth, this self-improvement, just making changes. And this person shattered because you started, because um, you switched something up in this the plan that they had for you. Like they didn't expect for you to go towards your evolvement here. So this person knows that you're not taking their offer back. Like you want better for yourself. You're not settling anymore. That's good. This person tries to pop back in and then they get, and then they try to make you feel, feel bad because you won't take them back. And there's something about when this person, you're not believing them about their changing, they're, they're wanting to heal and things like you're still not going to believe the story that this person's telling you. And like this person like throws a fit and they throw like, it's like an anger, like there's something about anger with this person. So... Some of you guys could be giving to new things, but this is about a new you that stepped to town and you're just wanting better for yourself here. 
So this person's trying to figure out how to, to guilt trip you, trying to give you to give back into this. Because there's something about this person trying to be romantic towards you. If that doesn't work, then they're trying to make you feel sorry for them. And it's like, ultimately, if that doesn't work either, it's like this person will just start to try to start a fight with you because they're pissed off because you won't accept their, their olive branch. So this person sees that you're looking outward and those new beginnings are coming towards you. And this person sees that you're very patient and that you're just, you're on your A game and that you can't be knocked off. And that's why this person's trying to figure out a way to stop you from continuing to do all this, this hard work for yourself. This person did not expect for you to, it's like, it's like this person set a fire under your butt and really threw you into all this hard work, self-improvement, really wanting goals for yourself, just new things. You, you really started shining lights on things and just really started um, reflecting and doing that inner work. And this person's like, how the hell did you do all that? Like, this person doesn't like that you shine lights on things. Like, they're, they're, they're panicking because of that. How about the shadow work? Shadow work. Continue to do your shadow work. There's always room for shadow work, guys. Tell about shadow work. Three of Pentacles. No longer wanting to, to build and collaborate with people that aren't reciprocating that same energy um, back to you. So part of your shadow work here is um, no longer overextending yourself to people that don't want to give you that same energy back here. This is about you know, breaking free and being in this independent energy and no longer staying in these contracts where you're just, you're being depleted and it's stopping you from growing and evolving here. No longer staying in, in connections that there's no changes being made. You know, it's just, just really like all about your, your growth and just really wanting to, um, just explore and just know more about yourself here. And then this is this rebirth energy. So this is about you looking at life differently. This is about you shedding that old version of yourself and stepping into your um, transformation. This is like bearing who you are, you know, just flaws and all, owning who you are, you know, just really getting in there and just really assessing things about yourself, you know, that, that shadow work. Not a lot of people can do it. We've got to really look at some ugly things about ourselves and a lot of people's ego won't allow them to do that. But you clearly understood the assignment. So you definitely, you, you know that your past doesn't um, define who you are. And this is about just realizing these challenges and everything that you've had to overcome and just realizing, you know what, I'm, I'm good. I, I am moving. I am evolving. I am growing. And I want to continue to evolve and grow as a person. That's beautiful. This person is trying to come back and bring something back to life. They want to tell you that they've been doing shadow work like you have. Like this person has to be watching you some way, somehow to even know about this type of uh, language here. And you know, and it's great if they do, if they have been stepping into their shadow work, that's all great. But they're going to have to do their work like you did by yourself. I don't think it's sincere because this person's got a mask on. So this person doesn't like that you have this inner strength to face your ego, to face your shadow side. Like this is about you um, not um, letting people trigger you anymore. This is about you keeping your silence and not, um, not reacting and not letting everybody get that side of you anymore. <sighs> no longer putting up with the drama, the chaos. No longer um, letting people trigger you and just try to jab at your um, your self-esteem and things like that. Just no longer trying to fight the inevitable about the, the growth that you needed to do. You've had a lot of things try to, to come up against you and try to stop you from doing your inner work here. Like this past person of yours, like they are trying to get you to um, break the silence between them. But this is somebody that's still operating in this this chaos and this dramatic energy here this is about just really opening up new cycles in your life because you're doing the shadow work and this is about keeping all these old cycles closed out because you've learned everything that you needed to from this person or more than one person from your past so there's no room for the past to come with you because you're evolving and you're starting new chapters of your life and that is the truth and this is about you having the clarity and seeing things for what it is. And this is about you working on your throat chakra as well. Speaking your needs, speaking your truth, and not letting anybody silence you anymore. 
<clears throat> I've got Leo, I've got Earth, Aries, Fire, Scorpio, uh, Pisces, Fire, Earth, and Scorpio here. So the shadow work. Always room for shadow work, guys. And this is why you're moving away from situations because you're realizing you're outgrowing people. You're learning and you're wanting to move forward in life here. So this person knows that you don't trust them anymore. Anybody that you don't trust. So you've got to like second guess yourself like that person's they they don't get to come with you to this new chapter. Something about this person thinking about you sexually. Somebody's trying to figure out how to have a sexual encounter with you. Somebody's got some abandonment issues. It's almost like this person wants to try to get in and try to have sex with you. And then they want to try to turn around and run and abandon you again to try to, to like throw a wrench into your, your inner work that you're doing. I don't like that. This person's got some abandonment issues. That's why they do what they do. And there's something here about you working through your abandonment issues as well. Capricorn. On top of the world. Ready to get back out there. You could be dating or wanting to date, but just ready for new, ready for things to, um, ready for those new beginnings, ready to find your happiness, ready to be brave and put yourself back out there if you're wanting love, but you're on top of the world. You've got a lot of things coming towards you that's really going to emotionally fulfill you here. Tell me more. And you got this person trying to come back and get your sympathy now. This person is, wants to start chasing you down. This is somebody that is used to you. You know, they're used to being able to guilt trip you and try to pull you back in, but you're not giving them that side of you anymore. Like, this person doesn't want to give up. That's why they're coming in with this whole mask on. You need to read between the lines with this. Exactly. Reading between the lines and seeing things for what it is and not giving this person no more chances. You can't trust this person. If you take them back, they will only hurt you. And you have learned everything that you needed to from this person. And this is someone that likes to start drama, man. This is someone that will try to rush you, start petty arguments if they don't get the response from you like they're wanting. This is a very dramatic person that has made no changes. And this person's pissed off. This is so, and there's something about this person being exposed. Something about this person um, doesn't like the way that you shine lights on their demons they don't like that that's why this person's wearing a mask when they're trying to come back in for you and then this person gets very mad when they don't get their way that's a player energy this is a non-committal energy that likes to uh sweet talk their way back in they charm their way in so they can get what they want well it's a catfish though this is somebody that is a money or a romance scammer so this person's not being sincere they haven't stepped into their growth like they're portraying like they have Capricorn wolf in sheep clothing man exactly what this person is somebody that acts like they got their your best interest at heart but they don't and this person definitely ain't doing their growth and I'm telling you this person's been spying and watching you do all this so this person really wants to mirror you but there's something here about your wisdom like you're on to this person is what there's something about your your gifts that, that intimidates this person. This is someone that's holding a grudge. This is a grudge holder. Some of you guys could have been dealing with an Aquarius because I have the same cards for the Aquarius read. So if that's the case, check out the Aquarius reading. Tell me more. So this is somebody that wants to try to uh, feed off of you. They like to copy you. Something here about you, this person trying to steal your ideals. I wouldn't let this person near me. There's something here about this person knowing that you're getting ready to take off. And it's almost like this is an energy of somebody that wants to try to come in here and try to steal your destiny. Try to, try to like duplicate what you're doing here. Some of you guys have some um, more than one person that is trying to duplicate you so make sure it's like a friend group and some some of you guys it's family members make sure people are who they say they are because you've got some energies here wanting to try to copy you at this time and you definitely got this past person wanting to copy your growth and your the changes that you've been making they haven't made no changes man this person is trying to dig up some kind of dirt on you 
trying to figure out what you got going on because it's like a blackmailing energy. Like this person, so this is somebody that will try to blackmail and try to do whatever they can to try to control you. I don't like that. Something here about an STD. This person could be like, there's something about this person sleeping around. This person could have contracted something since you guys had a disconnect. So just make sure you're being cautious of this, guys. And if you are getting back out there and dating new people, make sure just make sure you're being protected here, guys. And something here about sexually transmitted demons, too, not transferring energy with everyone. But this, there's definitely something about somebody having something here. So just mind your P's and Q's here. Continue moving on. For some of you, this person could have tried to say that you gave them something. This is a very nasty energy that's trying to come back here for you. And I can't, for somebody, this is not for everybody, this person's caught something that they can't get rid of since you guys had a disconnect. And it's like this person wants to try to come in here and sleep with you. Because it's like, that's disgusting. That's somebody that purposely wants to try to give you something here. Because there's something about this person trying to have sex with you. I don't like that. Tell me more. So, continue to remain uninterested in this person, guys. This person is not a good person. Boy, that card is not even... Or is that spelled right? I don't know. <laughs> this is stalker, man. This is somebody that's obsessing, watching you, stalking you, trying to see what you got going on. And this is somebody that makes stuff up. They don't even got the facts of anything. They just make it up. So, you're over here hustling. See, this person's over here trying to talk crap and try to make things up about you while you're over here hustling and just focusing on being a better person, focusing on those new beginnings that you've got lining up for you. And there's something here about this person having a love triangle here. So this person's always sleeping around, guys. This is someone that is um, still entertaining third-party energy. Some of you guys could have somebody new, and it's like, still, it's like if this person's trying to Get in there and trying to create drama, especially if you have new love here. Somebody is a thief. Somebody likes to, uh, a klepto. Somebody likes to take things that don't belong to them. This is a, a thief of joy, a thief of that, your growth. This is a thief of your, your finances for somebody. Just a thief of your, just a thief of just time taking, taking away from you. Somebody could have some kind of record of just stealing. An emotional thief, too. So this person's trying to fish for some kind of comments. They're trying to see who you're talking to, what you're doing. It's like this person's trying to to like trying to gain some kind of information through comments so they can use that against you. Like, does somebody here that is just very threatened by you? This person's mad that they can't intimidate you anymore. In all reality, there's something about your gifts that intimidate this person they're threatened by your growth they're threatened by the changes they're threatened about your new beginnings that you have coming in Ooh. capricorn cloudy judgment so this person likes to create illusions this is somebody that if they can't control you, then they control how everybody else looks at you. That's what this energy does. This is a very unbalanced, distorted energy that wants to try to cloud your judgment again, guys. Tell me more. Oh my gosh, this person's going to come back and act like they've had an awakening like you. Like they've had this aha moment. They know now. Don't trust it, man. This is about you having your light bulb moment, though. Realizing some things about your life. Tell me more. And you got this person trying to come back in here with this mask on. This person likes to exaggerate. Like, this is somebody that really, like, if they feel like you've done something to them, they'll go around and they'll really, like, they'll really exaggerate, like, everything that happened to make them look like the victim. And then if it's something that they did to you, they, they'll just sit there and try to, like, they'll make it seem like you're overreacting and that's not what happened. Like, this person, like, really likes to, likes to uh, blow smoke up your ass. I didn't mean to cuss. I just did. Oh, well. So, mask wear. Trying to call your bluff here. This person wants to put you back in this web where they could feed off of you. Because this is a thief of joy, time, money, love. That's what this person wants to, to deplete you again. This is a very dishonest person trying to come towards you that has not made no changes. Tell me more. 
See, this person wants to distract you. This person doesn't like the changes that you've been making. This is somebody that wants to try to put some kind of delays in your path. Don't give them that power. So this person feels like they can try to put some delays in your life by coming in and confessing to you. Like they've come clean, like they've stepped into that growth. They've had the awakening like you have. So this person's trying to think of the perfect story to try to come back in here for you. This is someone that will cry tears and all. I'm telling you, this person wants to tell you that they've been healing, man. You continue releasing. You continue purifying yourself and continue just doing your inner work. Continue giving this person silence. That's the only reason they're coming back and telling you that they've had their awakening like you have because you're silencing them. They don't like that you turn your back on them and you just ice them out. Oh, well. And that's because you've got the clarity here. This is about you knowing that this person's not honest. Continue to ice this person out because they're not sincere. And you've got better things to be focused on. This is because you never gave up on yourself. You continue to have faith. So that's what your manifestations are coming for you. And that's why you got to have these firm boundaries with, with this past person here. Because this is somebody that will try to come in here and ruin all the things that you are currently lining up with in your life at this time, guys. Capricorn. Capricorn. Your life is about to start to move quickly in some areas. Events that seem to have been on hold suddenly propel forward. Move with flow and be mindful of what needs your attention most. I'm telling you, you're getting ready to take off here. That's why we're not going to let this mask wear come back in. Don't worry. Everything you've been waiting for is on its way. Progress is being made even if you can't yet see the results. So much is happening behind the scenes for the creation of your dreams. Trust the process, guys. Absolutely. Continue showing up for yourself and continue uh, being in that optimistic um, attitude. Okay, stay in that positivity and do not let this past person try to come in here and distract you from their their trickery because they haven't changed not one bit guys. This is somebody that's pissed off that you're making stride and you're moving forward in life and they want to try to stop you. So don't don't let them have access to you. All right, my beautiful Capricorn, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again, guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Light and love to you guys. I'll see you guys later.